Welcome back to my Let's Play for War of Two Worlds. It's time to go looking for our friend. Hopefully he's in here somewhere. And yeah, I did do a little grinding so I could properly outfit my crew here. So now I'll have leather hats and shirts and all that stuff. Because you know, if you're going to be an adventurer, you need to have some proper gear. Let's face it. I'll be it doesn't seem to help Kirsch hit the broadside of a barn, gosh darn it. Come on, Kirsch. If you don't start hitting stuff, I'm gonna send you back home. Gosh darn it. It's just a fur ball. Why is it so hard to hit it? I mean it's not like it's Gizmo or something where it can use the cute defense. It's an ugly little fur ball. I mean seriously. <sighs> Finally. I thought they were never going to manage to kill it. Ugh. Okay. And deeper into the forest we go. Oh no, not a fur ball. They can't hit the fur balls. That's impossible. And I might end up wishing I brought more potions along. I hadn't stocked up on those yet. Damn it, Kirsch. Do your job. You go up there and you slice the enemy in the face, okay? That's what you're getting paid for. Okay, there's no money involved here, but still. You gotta be a proper sellsword in a game like this. You gotta hit your target, okay? Well, no. How much is a small amount? I wish it gave an actual number instead of small amount, okay? Like, is it 50%? Is it 100? 125? What exactly is small? Because size is pretty, um, relative, you know? And small and large is the same way here. I mean, in some games, you know, small might be like 10 because you have a maximum HP size of like 30 or 40 or something therefore you know 10 points back is a decent amount um, it's probably not gonna help you much but yeah in some games you know 100 would be considered you know so small it's insignificant I mean, I've played games where you can have health up in like the hundreds of millions I mean you usually don't get that high for um, story mode but you can do it Ah, no trolls guarding the bridge? Weird. Oh, we finally are right to start doing two hit kills here. That'd be nice. I'm tired of having to hit enemies three times in order to take them out around here. Eh, a fish, eh? Well, I didn't think a forest would have cliffs like these. And the water, too. Yeah, I know. Surprising, isn't it? Yeah, seriously, where are all the trees? I've heard that Evergreen Forest is the one of the largest in the world. Wow, you're lucky you get to visit nearly every day. It's not like it's the world of Evergreen Wall of Souls, man. This place is tiny in comparison to that. I don't usually come this far when I train, so I don't know what's up ahead. And if you train here all the time, how come you're level 1 anyway? You'd think you'd be like level 2 or 3 or something when you start out. Like, yeah, I train every day. Not very far, but I train, so you should be used to fighting these enemies, you know? Eh, who knows. Come on, let's go. And remember, be on your guard. In other words, be on your toes. Lie on your feet. Back and forth. Come on. And those goblins really don't look like they come from the same source as the fur balls, do they? There, there's some subtle but artistic differences there. Of course, I know the goblins are a lifted enemy from the Breath of Fire series. I'm not sure where this fur ball comes from. It's likely lifted from somewhere. I just don't know where exactly that is. Okay. Much more herbs, huh? Well, it doesn't specify how much it heals by or anything. What the? The save point, maybe? 
Oh, yeah, well, no dub. I'll assume there's a boss ahead if there's a save sphere. That's usually how, the, how stuff like this works, after all. Darn, we didn't kill him. So we're gonna have to do another pass. Darn it. Well, hopefully this is enough this time. Damn you, Tristan! Your voice is supposed to give you super strength, you know? I guess it failed you. Again. Where's Aceto? Tristan. You don't even have to say anymore. You just, you just know right from that. It doesn't, huh? You have, huh? You should hang around here for a little while, just in case he does turn up, though. How long is a how long are we gonna be waiting though? And why is there a camp out here? You think? Well, not really. Me and Griff are the only ones who seem to train here, to be honest. But on the other hand, I've never been this deep in the forest before. So I guess there's no reason why someone else couldn't have been here. Hmm, Griffith seems like a cool person. I wish I could be like him someday. Griffith? What do you want to be like him for? You spend most of your time drunk in a bar. I don't know, he's like really all prim and proper and such. He's really strong and talks in that weird way of his. He's like one of those cool good, cool guys in a book, you know? One of the heroes. I want to be like that someday. Well, I guess the first step would be become better friends with him. <laughs> Hang around him more. You'll probably pick up some of his annoying, I mean, quirks. <laughs> I've known Griffith almost all my life, and I still don't act the same way. So I guess it might not always work out. <sighs> An old grump, huh? Then why you hang out with him? I don't really like Cam much. He's a little, you know, weird. He's nowhere near as cool as Griffith, either. Yeah, Cam is something else, alright, but I was talking about myself, you know? <laughs> he does, huh? And why is that? Well, let's face it. Two of them spend a lot of their time in the forest training, but don't really seem to get any better. And the other one's a lush at a bar. I mean, not the best group of people, you know? <sighs> yeah, it really would be, because everyone would just be a gray blob. And then people would argue who's the greatest of the gray blobs, I'm sure, but still. There are a lot of bad people in the world, you got that right. <sighs> That's why I live in Mika Village, the people there are great. I mean, Cam can be a bit grumpy sometimes, and Griffith's seriousness can get annoying, but they're nice people deep down, you know? So does that mean you lived somewhere else before you came to Mika Village, Kirsch? But what about that Dole guy? Oh. He used to hang around us before you came along. We got along pretty well with him, but a new mayor was elected, and he had to appoint five or six townspeople as guards. Don't ask me why he is to do it. It's always been a rule of Mika. Well, anyway, Dole was picked by the mayor. After getting his new job, Dole started stopped hanging out with us and generally looked down on us. Now he won't talk to us unless he has to. He needed the Fizz new job, huh? So, because he got hired by the mayor to be a bodyguard, he can't hang around a bunch of losers? I gotcha. <laughs> Seems like a jerk to me, but whatever. But why are we forcing so much um, character development here? It seems kind of strange. They are, huh? Jeez, you must have no self-esteem, then. Sort of like the characters in Yu-Gi-Oh! The Abridged Series. Like it was yesterday, huh? Jeez. Well, yeah, why was he spending so much time in the bar? 
I suppose it is. Yeah, where on earth is the big guy? Um, yeah, whatever. Can we just get back to controlling the game? Because this stuff is starting to bore me to tears. A little too verbose here, you know? Maybe. I don't know where the other path takes us then. And where's my boss battle, darn it? We got a save point right here. There should have been a boss battle. Oh, please, goblins. They don't matter at all. I'll slaughter every goblin I see. Seriously. Darn it! I didn't take that one out in two hits. I so want to be able to do that. I'm tired of having to pop them three times, okay? It's annoying. It really is. Okay, what if it's down this way? Huh, an item maybe? What the? Cool, a secret path! Are we even supposed to come here yet? Maybe not, I don't know. Spring Hollow? No one? Darn! Well, we found a village in the forest, at least. At least now we know where the campfire came from. Okay. A secret village of orcs, I suppose. Well, whatever. I'm sure it'll be important later, but for now, let's just get back to the town, I suppose. After all, we gotta go find that idiot Griffith. But I hate the fact we wasted our time coming out here. Ugh. I hate pointless waste of time. And this was a pretty big one. Ugh. Come on, somebody kill him! Ugh. I need to get something that raises my dexterity, apparently. I'm getting tired of the fact I can't hit the broad side of a barn. I like me with a BB gun, only worse. And I'm not very good, okay? I'm shooting BB guns. Hey, that sounds like... Griffith! Griffith, what are you doing? Curse? Tristan? We can't talk. There's a giant fiend out there somewhere. It's in the tree somewhere. You have to help me kill it. But didn't you just tell us we have to leave? Okay, here it comes. Be careful. It's a large one. Oh, come on. This is obviously lifted from Breath of Fire 2. I recognize this sucker. He's on Monster Isle. I've killed hundreds of these things over the years. Helps if I had a chop chop spell though. Unfortunately that wouldn't work here, but still. Well, let's just keep it up, I suppose. Let's hope all our training pays off. Well, damn. I wonder how long this is going to take. I mean, we don't have any cool skills yet, so we're just constantly slashing away at them. So the fight's kind of boring, since it's just a battle of attrition. Who can last longer, you know? I'm going to give it to the heroes, though. We do have herbs on hand still, so we can recover and... I don't think this guy can. At least I haven't seen a healing spell yet. Darn, another miss. Close, but nah, no cigar. Darn. Well, just a bit more then. Finally. I was, I did call it though. 
Ew, a tropic herb. Where'd I get that? We're nowhere near the tropics. Well, that was close. Good job, you two. Thanks for the good thing you got here when you did. Yep, thanks for the help. I'm taking all the reward money for this job. Yes, yeah, so I was just doing a bit of training here, and all of a sudden that beast appeared out of nowhere and started attacking me. Don't you mean that giant insect? And seriously, it's not a beast, it's a giant bug. I've never seen anything quite like it before. Not only was it large, Fiend, but it's also extremely fast. I could not escape! Looks like we got here just in time, huh? It's like we really are heroes! Heroes always show up the last second. It's called dramatic enters. Entering, you know? It's sort of like guys' dynamic entry, you know, only a bit better because it's dramatic. <laughs> An hour, huh? I suppose he will be. You come interesting? Yes, this must have been your first real battle, was it not? Yeah, yeah, it was. It's even better than I thought it'd be. I really must become an adventurer. I suppose, but can we seriously get back to town? Come on, let's get back to Mika Village. They gonna warp me out of the forest now? Nope. Well, let's get to walking. Come on. These feet were made for walking. Oh, at least we got free healing after that boss fight, I guess. Where is that? Well, we're now the three amigos. Boom. Three amigos away. What's with that weird effect, anyway? Seriously. Well, back to work. Doing the arduous task of killing things. Tristan could use a better weapon, though. Like, he can't compete with the sword users when it comes to damage output. It's getting very noticeable. I guess that's true of a lot of characters with bows, but still. Oh, great. More furballs? Not more fuzzies. I hate fuzzies. I don't know why. Made me think of Ewoks. This is Ewoks can't be Jedi, you know, they're terrible. Because, you know, Ewoks are too dumb to be a Jedi. According to George Lucas, at least. Yeah. Smart enough to uh, defeat the Empire, not smart enough to be a Jedi. Go figure. Lucas has got some really weird ideas in his head sometimes, okay? Or maybe he just doesn't like the idea of a small, fuzzy bear wielding a lightsaber, I guess. Doesn't make much sense to me. Who wouldn't want to wield a laser sword? Come on, one more attack. Ugh. I can't get a reliable two-hit kill on these things yet. And I'm level three. Sorry, level four across the board, and I still can't do it. I'm gonna have to hit like level five or six or something for this. You grow so slow in this game. Ugh. Usually you grow early, you know, relatively quickly, and then as you get to higher levels, the growth rate slows down a lot. So you think of anything, after I got to level 3 or 4, I'd be able to start, you know, like, popping these guys for a fairly decent amount of damage, you know? Instead, my damage output hasn't gone up that much, I'm still taking up the same amount from hits. It's kind of insane. Like, does my attack stat not go up when I level up, or is it so small it's insignificant? Well, since we can get to it kills all, I guess it's going up, but it's going up so slowly. It's kinda crazy. 
Okay, we're almost out of the forest. Jeez. But we're never gonna get out of here. Okay. Finally. Back in the relative safety of the world map. Well, next time we'll return to the bar. Until then, see ya.